Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this smooth pop and transition inside of After Effects. It looks really smooth. So let's just get into it. So as you can see, I have these two clips in my timeline. So first in my second clip, I will start by duplicating this clip and, and take my rotor brush tool and start rotoscoping it out. If you don't know how to rotoscope, I'll leave a tutorial down below. But for now, I'm just gonna skip this part. And after you're done rotoscoping, make sure you freeze it so everything is locked in. After that, go into your composition panel. And if I hide my background layer, you can see our clip is rotoscoped out. That's exactly what we want. So now let's just turn it on our background layer as well. So first, to create the transition, we're gonna pre comp our rotoscope layer, not the background layer, the rotoscope layer, and name it like roto so it's like really clear. After that, we're gonna right click it selecting that just right click and go to time and in here you can see time reverse layer just select that and it should reverse your rotoscope that's to what we exactly want maybe like i'm gonna go inside of composition and like low, bring up the feather and lower down the shift stage as well so to create the transition what we're gonna do is slide it in right here till the end so if i play through now you can see we already have kind of a transition that what we exactly want so other don't want this too long so i'm gonna trim it to like here something like here so it's like half of the duration maybe like bring it up more and to create the animation i'm gonna turn on 3d on my layer and now you can see our layer is 3d as you can see so now we're gonna hit r on our keyboard to bring up our rotation and in rotation y we're gonna hit the stop button there and put it a bit further towards the end and in the beginning just bring up the amount so something like perfect perfectly 90 so it like disappears in as you can see it like pretty much disappears then select your keyframe hit f9 to easy those go into graph uh, make sure you are in value graph not in speed graph make a simple graphs like this you can play with the graph if you want but well, maybe i'm going to create something like this yeah this graph works so copy this graph right here and after that we already have this moon leader transition our character pops in that we exactly want so then i'm gonna add a little glow to spice it up like a optical glow would work optical glow in go to alpha channel and set to extended on mold bring up the radius and i'm gonna and i think i'm gonna bring up the highlight only as well like that and towards the beginning i'm gonna hit the stop watch in the amount go towards the end and lower down the amount to zero then also like i like adding our exposure in it and put the keyframe to the towards the end as well and bring up the amount that's too much for sure i'll lower it down more and like that then in my background layer i'm gonna add a fast box blur in it and hit the stop button in there go a bit further and bring up the amount to something like 9 or 10 uh, like that maybe also like i'm gonna add exposure into my background layer and lower down the exposure when my freeze frame comes like that so it's like really dim and our subject get highlighted more so after that we are almost done so to spice it up and add on this i'm gonna just add an adjustment layer and add a shake i'm gonna use my shake pack to do it if you don't already know i have a shake pack which allows you to add those insane shake into your music video easily it's really dope and also in my site i bundle it with my 3 dryer pack so it like comes in a great offer if you want to buy them both and if you don't know my 3 title pack allows you to add those insane 3 titles for your music video easily as well so i'll link it down below both the pack and the bundle as well so you can check it out but for now i'm gonna use the best one as always i really like the best one so let's just add it onto my adjustment layer and just like line it up and trim it till here like that so after that you can see it makes the transition look so much smoother and blend it in and also my result looks something like this so that's it for today video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also like subscribe to my channel because i'm uploading daily on july so stay locked in with all the tutorials so yeah see you in the next video peace